Hey guys, built something. It's been a while, so I figured I'd put a video up about it. Uh, this is my burner that I built for a little foundry for smelting. And, uh, well, all right, yeah, uh, right here's your air inlet. Then it tees off to one side. That's for blast air. And then the other side is actually for feeding oil. And this is an oil line, that's a propane line. And you fire the whole thing up on propane and you get it you get it cooking and then you switch over to oil after you're up to temperature or whatever. I've fired it up within like 20 seconds, so you don't gotta use a lot of propane. Uh see if we can get her fired up quick. Ah, it's actually come in handy to do it too. Because I've made stuff with it, you know. Uh, nothing major. Um, this is just a lump of cast iron that I melted down. I wanted to, I wanted to know that I could do this. <clears throat> There's a rough casting I made that had another riser coming up, but it snapped off right there. So I think this might be brittle, and it does clean up all right. You know, you can you can see pores. Uh, here's an actual practical piece that I made. I casted this disc and then this piece here. And this is a top for a pickle jar that makes a vacuum chamber. <laughs> you just kind of lay that down on the lid and this, this rubber on the bottom makes a seal and works out great. Uh, yeah, you find a good place to put it. This stuff here, this is just junk, like beer cans, weed whacker engines, whatever I could find laying around. This pile over here is uh, old Volkswagen diesel cylinder heads. So I want to kind of keep that separate from this. I'd like to, I'm not going to make anything super critical, but something kind of important I might be able to do with that. Because that's going to be a better alloy, I would think. <laughs> Now, depending on how I work it or treat it or whatever, it's probably not going to be so great, but who knows. But anyhow, enough blabbing. Yeah, I've been doing uh, green sand casting, and it seems to be working out all right. All right, so the burner just kind of slots into the end. All right, uh, the inlet of this thing. I don't know if the light's very good, but that just slots in there, just like that. And it's still in frame. I can't even see anything. Yeah, kind of. All right. Oh. <clears throat> Put the propane line as per normal. And your airline. Little leak there. I think that's going to blow loose. But for now, it'll be okay. And it's just air. Uh, the oil line just slips onto the center there. Got all the valves closed down right now. And I don't know why. You know, I'm not a purpose designer. But I I gotta prop the lid open when I first light it up. It wants a little more exhaust than it can give. Uh, ignition source right here. This, I had a Burnzo torch and I liked it better. It was falling apart so I had to get something. This thing, this mag torch, not worth what the, what I paid for it. It's chintzy. That, that actually lit pretty quick that time. Sometimes I gotta hit it like 20 times before it'll go. Uh, that burns though was a lot better. I'm gonna see if I can fix that somehow. Anyhow, keep it lit. Up down in there. And we're lit. Crack this valve. That 
and blow it out. good I've already burnt out uh, three steel crucibles I need to save my pennies and get a graphite one or a silicon carbide job silicon carbide would be ideal but man are they expensive I don't want to buy a Chinese
three seconds. These two air valves, they're pretty well engine. much because I burnt my crucibles up and I'm done uh, cutting my piece of pipe up and wasting wire and wasting material making more. I made a couple of them just for messing around and then I had a couple of pieces that I actually needed to do once I found out I was able. If I didn't need to, I could have found something else that would have worked, but it's fun, you know. right now it ain't quite burning right right now and it's starting to come around you can hear it rumbling Just kind of keep messing with all these three until you until you get where you want. But that is fairly close. We'll try a little fuel, a little more oil. Here, kind of crackling. I want it to sound yeah, smooth like. A little closer to that.
acceptable. And already I got a puddle, little puddle of aluminum down there from where my damn crucible went loose on me. Sometimes they'll last for five or ten burns, sometimes just a couple. Uh, I'll shut this down. Another strange thing, you lift the lid off, and it goes to crap on you. So you crank the fuel up. Come on. Come on. Hi. See the inside, which there's a whole lot of crap there. Oil still. Pull that crap out. There, that's just oil running there. solder out again and do a better job <laughs> yeah it did it, it did it I haven't <laughs> that's been kind of hissing at me for for a while now I've been running in anyways uh, this uh, oh what is it called it's not I don't think it's pyro creep castolite castolite 30 it's supposed to be rated for uh, 3,000 Fahrenheit something like that and you disconnect your line. Get your thumb over it real quick. I'm gonna get oil all over the place. Hold it up for a while, let it drain back into the bucket. And this will actually blow back out the line and up into the bucket if you don't have enough oil in there. Uh, thankfully, my cousin's a trucker and changes his own oil. So I got that 55 gallon drum and I just started pumping it into every possible container I could find that I don't really use like those containers there I don't use them they don't have spouts some don't have lids and then a bunch of gallon jugs and I still got 10 gallons in that thing and I might have only used oh I don't know two gallons out of this uh, let's see how hot this lid is not too bad there's my ingot mold and that's that's the lid you can see it's been self-destructing a little bit there so I was running it hot and uh, pretty good amount right there you can yeah <laughs> but uh, that's that's not a big deal if it burns away a little bit in there I, I, that doesn't bother me a bit <sighs> not a bit and that's just a run-of-the-mill propane, 20-gallon propane tank. Now, if you want to get really hot, that's what this is for. There's a hole down at the bottom of this tube that right now is obscured by this burner. You pull the burner. Ooh, yeah, it's a little hot. <laughs> Come on. Let go out of there. Hang on. You pull the, oh, simply pull it, yeah. All right, you pull the burner back out to about there where you can see that part coming out. And and then that hole is open and you take your shop vac and 
jam the nozzle into that tube and you get ridiculous heat. Ludicrous amounts of heat. I think I might have been pushing that refractory to its limits when I was doing that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, the mag torch, stay away from that. Stick with your burns matic That thing, I don't like it. Feels chintzy, doesn't light up as good. I had that Burnzo for probably 10 years, and it still works. It's just doing a weird thing. I want to see if I can fix it. Oh, other crap, I got the ram off my log splitter. I have that out of the shop getting repacked. I'm not a hydraulics guy, so I don't I don't pretend to like I know. And yeah. Oh, oh, my sand. This is just a standard online recipe. Uh what is it? Nine parts silica sand. Just regular sandbox crap and one part clumping cat litter. I don't know if the scented or unscented matters. And then you just add little bits of water. This is already a little dry. But you add little bits of water, a little bit at a time, and keep stirring it. Drywall mixer is great for this. I don't have one, but I made a thing to go on a drill. So, But you want to just have it till it sets and you can make a clump like that the turd test and it breaks you know but that's that that's the whole that's the whole shebang and my stupid battery's about dead anyhow so later